This is the Music History Today podcast for August 7th. On today's show, Jesus Christ Superstar premieres in movie theaters and Central Park is home to two concerts. First up, though, on this date in 1937, Bunny Bear again recorded the song I Can't Get Started. In 1954, Johnny Cash married his wife, Vivian Liberto. In 1956, the Harp Tones recorded their songs, That's the Way It Goes, and Three Wishes. In 1957, Paul Anka performed on television in America for the first time. It was on the Dick Clark show, American Bandstand. In 1966, Latin music star Xavier Cugat married entertainer Charo. In 1969, the Beatles recorded their song, The End. In 1970, Christine McVie, then known as Christine Perfect, joined Fleetwood Mac. In 1973, the movie version of the musical Jesus Christ Superstar was released. In 1974, Peter Wolf of the Jay Giles Band married actress Faye Dunaway. In 1979, Led Zeppelin played live in Great Britain for the final time. In 1985, Barbara Streisand started recording her Broadway album. In 1991, Paul Simon gave a free concert in Central Park in New York City. Also on that same day, LL Cool J was sued for palimony by his ex-girlfriend. The case was settled for $1,650 per month. In 1995, LL Cool J, speaking of, married his wife, Simone Johnson. In 1996, a federal appeals court ruled that the original members for Frankie Lyman and the teenagers, Jimmy Merchant and Herman Santiago, could not claim co-writing royalties on the song Why Do Fools Fall in Love because the claim had to have been filed within three years of the song being published. In 1997, six years after Paul Simon, Garth Brooks gave his free concert in Central Park. In 2002, Ween's drummer Claude Coleman Jr. was seriously injured in an auto accident. He recovered by the end of the year. In 2005, Mark Cohen was shot in the head during an attempted carjacking. He survived. In 2008, singer Jewel married rodeo writer Ty Murray. In 2010, singer Robbie Williams married actress Ada Field. In 2011, Big Boy of Outkast was arrested on drug charges for having ecstasy. In 2012, Madonna gave support for the Russian band Pussy Riot during a concert in Moscow as Pussy Riot were in prison at the time for performing an anti-Vladimir Putin song in a church. In 2012, same day, Randy Travis was arrested for DWI and resisting arrest after a strange day that included him going to a store naked. Man had a serious meltdown that day. In 2017, the Zoological Journal of the Linnean Society named a type of crocodile after Motorhead lead singer Lemmy. Also in 2017, the group Wanna One was formed, and in 2019, the group Rocket Punch was formed. In theater, in 1926, the musical The Coconuts closed on Broadway. In 1949, the Broadway show All After Love closed. In 1954, the Broadway show Golden Apple closed. In 1977, the Broadway show Shenandoah closed. And in 1979, the Broadway show Merlin closed. In award ceremonies that were held on August 7th in 2003, the Osmonds received their star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released on August 7th include in 1961 when Brenda Lee released All the Way. In 1967, The Birds released The Birds' Greatest Hits. In 1970, The Moody Blues released A Question of Balance. Also on that same day, Stevie Wonder released Signed, Sealed, and Delivered. In 1971, King Curtis released Live at the Fillmore West. In 1973, the Isley Brothers released 3 Plus 3. In 1977, Sister Sledge released Together. In 1978, Roberta Flack released her self-titled album. In 1983, Black Sabbath released Born Again. In 1987, Loudness released Hurricane Eyes. In 1990, Extreme released Extreme 2 Porno Graffiti. Also on that same day, John Bon Jovi released The Blades of Glory. In 1995, The Fall released Extricate. 
1999, Rory Gallagher released the BBC Sessions, and in 2015, Greg Allman released Back to Macon, Georgia. Singles that were released in the UK on August 7th include in 1977 when 10CC released People in Love and in 1981 Foreigner released Urgent. Meanwhile, in America in 1954, Baseball Hall of Famer Say Hey Willie Mays released a novelty song. It was called Say Hey. In 1964, The Yardbirds released I Wish You Would. In 1969, Marvin Gaye released That's The Way Love Is. In 1975, The Who released Slip Kid. In 2009, Kesha released Tick Tock. And in 2020, Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion released the extremely controversial song WAP, which stands for something I'm not even going to say especially since all the ultra-conservatives really got upset about it. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 7th include Kristen Hirth of Throwing Muses, Put Your Horns Up for Mr. Bruce Dickinson of Iron Maiden, Ian Dench of EMF, Jackie O'Sullivan of Bananarama, Andy Frazier of Free, Jazz historian Julie Nathanson, Carrie Chater of Gary Puckett in the Union Gap, singer Lana Cantrell, singer and voice actor Stan Freeberg, Charles Pope of the group The Tams, singer Ron Holden, Herb Reed of The Platters, singer B.J. Thomas, guitarist Tim Renwick, country music singer Rodney Crowell, Pete Way of the group UFO, Raul Malo of the group The Mavericks, Johnny Solinger of Skid Row, songwriter Felice Bryant, trombonist Warren Covington, saxophonist Howard Johnson of the Saturday Night Live Band, rapper Ty Taylor, singer Eveluna Montagnier, singer Pepe Aguilar, singer Natalie Taylor, singer Carlos Vives, singer Raoun of the group SF9, Singer Dorian Popa, Jamie Jasta of Hate Breed, Vaness Wu of the group F4, saxophonist Roland Kirk, bluesman Magic Slim, singer Corey Kandemir, multi instrumentalist Rashawn Roland Kirk, band leader Harry Arnold, drummer Jeno Beamter, and ragtime and jazz composer Lucky Roberts. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 7th include composer Friedrich Zachau, who passed away in 1712 at the age of 48. Composer Friedrich Schwindel passed away in 1786 at the age of 49. Composer Johann Solner passed away in 1798 at the age of 65. Composer Johann Rink passed away in 1846 at the age of 76. Composer Alfredo Catalani passed away in 1893 at the age of 39. Composer David Popper passed away in 1913 at the age of 70. Composer Boleslaw Dembinski passed away in 1914 at the age of 81. Composer Camille Zekwer passed away in 1924 at the age of 49. Guitarist Augustin Barrios passed away in 1944 at the age of 59. Composer Armas Launis passed away in 1959 at the age of 75. Violinist Max Tack passed away in 1967 at the age of 75. Composer Joseph Cosma passed away in 1969 at the age of 63. Orchestra leader Russ Morgan passed away in 1969 at the age of 65. Singer and actress Joy Lansing passed away from cancer in 1972 at the age of 43. Composer Franz Wolpert passed away in 1978 at the age of 60. Trumpet player Eddie Calvert passed away from heart issues in 1978 at the age of 56. Singer Esther Phillips passed away in 1984 at the age of 48. 
blues harmonica player Harmonica Frank passed away in 1984 at the age of 73. Singer Ann Christie passed away in 1984 at the age of 38. Singer Daisy Voison passed away in 1991 at the age of 66. Singer Billy James of the group The Billy T. James Show passed away from heart issues in 1991 at the age of 42. Composer Titi Soto passed away in 1992 at the age of 48. Jazz pianist Roy Budd passed away in 1993 at the age of 46. Composer Larry Adler passed away in 2001 at the age of 87. Folk musician Mike Seeger of the group The New Lost City Ramblers passed away in 2009 at the age of 75. Bassist Marshall Grant of Johnny Cash's Tennessee Two passed away in 2011 at the age of 83. Singer and actress Kelly Garrett passed away from cancer in 2013 at the age of 69. Singer Sabu Akomo passed away in 2015 at the age of 34. Composer David Maslanka passed away in 2017 at the age of 73. Pianist Janet Seidel passed away from cancer in 2017 at the age of 62. David Berman of the group The Purple Mountains passed away in 2019 at the age of 47. The tuba player with the Boston Pops, Constance Weldon, passed away in 2020 at the age of 88. Record producer Mark Wirtz passed away in 2020 at the age of 76. D.T. Thomas of Cool in the Gang passed away in 2021 at the age of 70. And D.J. Casper, who came up with the catchy song Cha-Cha Slide that you hear in sports stadiums all the time, passed away from cancer in 2023 at the age of 58. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 8th, when in 1988, one of the most important hip-hop albums of all time gets released, and in 2020, Taylor Swift sets another record. <laughs> 